case numbers that were released were not released until Monday night after there was a glitch in the reporting system. The state says that due to that backlog, the number that we have right now will likely go up higher as additional numbers come in. But we do want to update you on where we are right now. As of last update last night, there were 86 newly confirmed deaths due to COVID-19. In total, we've lost more than 4,100 people to the virus. As the number of cases continue to grow, we're up to 44,000 cases. 196 new cases were added by Monday. But again, we could see an increase in that growth rate as we get an update today. The next one expected mid afternoon if all goes well, we'll update you both here on our website and on our mobile app. Meanwhile, Beaumont Wayne Hospital is reopening after closing its doors three weeks ago. The hospital was a COVID-19 only care facility for a short time around the end of March until it closed in April. The reopening began at 8 o'clock this morning and will take place in phases. Meantime, Pfizer begins testing an experimental vaccine to combat the coronavirus. The U.S. based pharmaceutical giant says that the first human participants in the United States have been dosed with the potential vaccine. The company also also announced that initial manufacturing for the vaccine will actually happen right here in Michigan on the west side of the state in Kalamazoo. The governor spoke about the development on the Today Show this morning. The fact that there are human trials going on and that Pfizer has announced that they're going to be producing here in Michigan, I think is a, a wonderful thing. It's not imminent, but it is on the horizon. And I think we need to find those sources of inspiration.